What's going on guys? I'm the Balkan Architect, I'm an architect and I live in a tiny apartment. So today I thought it would be a good idea to show off my uh, apartment, it's architectural related and I think it's a really cool design. Uh, now this is a 33 square meters or 355 square foot uh, one bedroom apartment and it was actually a studio apartment then converted into a one bedroom apartment. Uh, I didn't design it, I have to point this out. Uh, it was designed by another architect uh, who is the owner and I'm just renting it but I think that the design is amazing. The space is used up in the perfect way so I, I thought it would be a cool idea to kind of show it off and just uh, just show you what it looks like. And I actually work from home so uh, it's amazing that you can fit pretty much everything both your uh, work life and your uh, regular life uh, within uh, just that one tiny teeny apartment. So let's go to the tour. So this is the entrance area to my apartment. As you can see here, we have the, the big entrance door. And as soon as you get in, you're greeted by this uh, huge mirror that's on my walk-in closet. So this is actually a walk-in closet. Well, on one side, if I just slide this door over, you'll see here we just have some cleaning supplies, uh, some shoes, things like that. And then on the other side, if we open this up, this is actually a walk-in closet. So you can actually walk inside and then you can walk outside. Now this is really useful because uh, this is the only storage area in this whole apartment. So uh, it, it can get a little tight, but uh, it, it's really good because uh, when you stuff all of your stuff inside, it, it can look a little bit messy. You just close the door and then the mess stays on the inside and it's really clean on the outside. And I really like the like the full mirror, I, I think it's really useful. Next on the other side, here we have the dining area. So here I have just a little bit of a bar and then just a couple of uh, these stools. They are really comfortable and you can just kind of fit two people to, to eat here. But I, I, I avoid eating here and, let, and later on I'll show you a little trick where I eat in the living room. And also here I like to keep uh, a couple of bottles of water so when I'm getting ready to go outside I can just grab one and then I can stay hydrated. And just behind that dining area we have the kitchen so it's quite small and pretty straightforward. There's a decently sized fridge over here, uh, I have a sink, the uh, old stove, uh, below is the uh, the oven. Next we have a little dishwasher over here. So it has everything but it's really cramped. And uh, now what's really cool is uh, this uh, door that kind of opens up and then you have the whole corner area uh, and you can access uh, all the stuff in there. So you can fit a lot of stuff inside. It's just hard to get to because well it's so small. And then of course there's, there are these uh, upper cabinets as well. Now the main downside to the kitchen uh, like this uh, that they found uh, was the lack of natural light. So I didn't think this, that something like this would bother me but uh, especially when you get up in the morning and it's time to make breakfast and you have to turn the light on to, to, to make breakfast it's really unnatural. So. Uh, that's the uh, that's the main thing that I'm looking forward to when moving out of this apartment is having a kitchen that's next to a window. I, I, I would really uh, prefer a window somewhere here. This is the part of the apartment where I spend most of my time. So here on this side we have the whole chill couch area. Uh, I, uh, this is a really beautiful uh, couch but the only downside is it's some faux leather and I would really appreciate a natural breathing uh, material uh, more than this kind of plasticky fake leather. But anyways, uh, it, it does look nice, so uh, I'll give it that. Uh, next we have this cool little table, and what's really cool about it is the fact that it transforms. So let me show you that. Now this uh, small uh, uh, living room table can be transformed in a dining room table, and it's really cool. It has this little uh, lever below, which you pull, and then you can actually bring it up. So. It can, it can come up like that, but that's not all. So if I just remove this stuff uh, and just put it to the side, and uh, you can actually rotate this thing just like this, and then you can expand it or flip it over. And now here, I think like 10 people can sit around and eat uh, around this table, which is really cool. And then on the other side, of course, is the entertainment area. 
For the entertainment area we've got a decently sized TV, below are the speakers and then there, this is the subwoofer. Now next to that I have a laptop so which is connected with a HDMI cable to the TV so I can play stuff from my laptop which I tend to do. And then here, as you can see, I've got a bunch of these toys. Now, my girlfriend really likes the Kinder Surprise X, so uh, I, <laughs> we tend to buy a lot of those, uh, which you can probably see from all of the uh, toy surprises. Now here I've got another computer uh, which I don't know what to do with but it's it's there and it's not just a monitor it's actually a computer a really small computer as you can see here behind which is attached to that monitor so I'm still thinking what to do with this but uh, I'm sure I'll find a use for that. Now moving on back here this is the only piece that I got specifically for this apartment it's this lamp I always uh, liked the, the look of this uh, lamp so it was kind of uh, uh, half off so I decided to buy it and I think it fits in the apartment really good. Next we have my favorite uh, chair design or simple chair design and that's uh, this uh, plastic chair so I, I got that uh, over here so when some company comes over I can uh, offer a place to sit. And then on the other side of the room I have my home office setup. This is where I record for all of my videos. Uh, I've got the uh, fake Ames chair uh, in white, which I uh, also like really much. This is, uh, I think this is the, the first thing that they bought from my first YouTube check, so I'm very proud of this chair. So anyways, and then uh, for my home office I have a standing desk, I have a dual uh, monitor uh, setup, and then uh, below is my computer. Now if you want to learn more about my computer setup, I already have a video on, on that, so I will be linking a, uh, leaving a link in the description of this video, so uh, check it out. Now I got this uh, desk as I said from IKEA and then on top I have this, uh, it's another IKEA piece, this kind of thing with the drawers and it's really useful because it uh, brings up the monitors a little bit and it's kind of easier to view them. Uh, here I have some pens, there is my mic setup and it's on this cool little boom that you can kind of move around, set it up exactly where you want. So when I'm recording I, I kind of keep it like that and then when I'm not recording I can just move it off to the side and then it works like that. Then on the other side I've got my bamboo plant which I of course you have to have and then this is my magic yellow book where all of my video ideas start from and then above we have the IKEA lamp which I use just for writing and also for lighting myself up for the tutorials. So uh, if I just turn it on, as you can see it's, it's a pretty decent light and it's really cool because you can kind of rotate where it shines the light, so that's kind of nice. Let me just turn it off. And then to bring up the desk you just come here and then you press this little button here. Just kidding guys, <laughs> there's no button. So you basically go ahead here and then you unclip this and then you have to pull this whole thing out. It's kind of hard, but there you go. And once it's here, you have to kind of wind it up. So let me show you how that works. And then once you get it to the top, it looks like this. Now you just have to can you return this one step and then try to push it in. And there we go. So that's my desk setup. Now here I have this cool tool for uh, 3D programs, for just navigating in 3D programs, which I'm kind of playing around with right now. Uh, next here I have my, oops, I have my trusty minion that's keeping an eye on me. This was a gift from my girlfriend, these two things. And then also here I have a miniature uh, car of mine. So I have a Toyota Celica 2001. So that's what I've got on my desk as well. And then also here on the side, I've got my trusty uh, Game of Thrones mugs. So here I've got the kind of the, 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 the Iron Throne, then a little dragon cup, and then here King of the North, uh, as well, so uh, <laughs> these are really cool. And then uh, here as you can see I've got some distilled water and that's for my plant, if you can see it 
uh, good enough. So it's one of those meat-eating plants. It kind of eats flies and insects and stuff. Uh, but it's not going doing that well in the cold weather right now, but it's it's a cool plant to own. And then here I've got some of these Christmas lights, which look really cool when you turn off the rest of the lights. And mostly when I'm working, I don't have the like these upper lights turned on, so I only have the Christmas lights and then the view outside, which is really cool. And then also here I keep my kettlebell. Now right from the kitchen you enter the bedroom. Now this is a quite a tiny bedroom for this tiny apartment. Uh, it was actually a uh, just a studio apartment and then it was converted into a one bedroom, a very tiny one bedroom apartment. Uh, now, just because the uh, the bed occupies pretty much the whole room, uh, the door had to be extremely small. So if I just close it off, you'll see that it's a really tiny door. Uh, and I, I, I have no idea how they managed to fit the bed in there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the bedroom. Now, if you're a guy that ever went to the gym, you probably know that the number one reason why men tend to work out is because they want to be able not to fit to, through doorways. Maybe an easier way is to move into a place with a small door. So I am very proud to say that I can no longer fit through doorways. Now just next to the entrance door is the bathroom, the last place in my apartment. So as you can see it's uh, it's a decently sized bathroom for such a micro apartment. Here is a little washing machine, uh, next is the water here, here is the, the sink, uh, the, the shower, the toilet, the towel warming thing, and then here I've got a couple of plants, this one's doing great, this one not so much. And then if we just go out, here is that big mirror and this is where the tour ends so get out so that is my micro apartment now the biggest challenge that I found here uh, was not something that I expected uh, I expected the uh, like the, the small space would bother me just staying in, in small spaces I thought it would bother me because I never uh, lived in such a small apartment but uh, actually it didn't bother me, I, I, I got comfortable really really quickly, uh, even in the bedroom uh, which is just basically bed and then walls, I thought that would feel claustrophobic but it doesn't, I feel completely comfortable. And now the, the biggest downside is whatever you do inside of this small apartment you will make a mess. So if I just want to get my like gym bag ready to go, go to the gym, I make a huge mess and then the, the whole apartment looks like a mess and then I have to clean everything up. So uh, anything that you do, you will make a mess. So you will spend uh, a bit more time just cleaning after yourself just because you, uh, you, you want to have a uh, clean and tidy home. So that was the biggest downside and uh, apart from that, and the, the lack of a window in the kitchen area, I, I really didn't notice any, uh, <laughs> any downsides. Now, I, I'm very sad that I'm moving out soon, uh, I, I am getting a bigger place, but I am going to miss this uh, little apartment, so uh, I'm not only uh, doing this to share it with you, I also wanted to document it for myself, uh, because it was a cool space where I have lived for, uh, for a year. So that was my uh, micro apartment. I hope, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, share it. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't worry, I'll be back with my regular Revit related uh, content or tutorials uh, in a couple of days. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.